folks it is hot this is the hottest time of the year and i think i have a marvelous idea sometimes i worry about myself but we had to set up a hog trap and hopefully we can catch us a couple uh it's about 100 already it's about 10 o'clock in the morning and it is hot but we're getting ready for deer season we headed down here to rearrange some deer feeders put up this hog trap and uh see if we can start knocking them out come along with us and join us Folks, here we are. We're here at the site. We're going to put this hog trap up. We're going to do a circle C trap. And uh, we're going to remove this deer feeder. We're going to remove this hog trap from the area. Build us a big old uh, trap here and see what we can get. Uh, you can see that they're, uh, they've got this place tore up pretty good. Uh, set up here last night till real late in the night and left. And uh, my camera here, I guess, has run out of pictures. So it uh, hadn't sent me anything. So we're going to see what we can do. Maybe hopefully we'll get some hogs. Folks, you can see this is a, a heavy traffic area. This is a hog trail that goes down through there. And I got a lot of pictures of them coming out down this trail right here. This camera set up behind me, but look at that trail right there. There's also one that goes out on the other side over there, um, just on the other side of that camera. And um, they come out of this bottom, this big bottom here on the river, come up here throughout the night and eat. But I've been unable and unsuccessful with that trap. So we're going to try us a different method here and uh, see what we can find or see what we can catch. Hey folks, we got all these T-posts set here. What we've got here is 15 T-posts. We got four cattle panels that are 16 foot long. We got some rebar wire. We've, we've basically cut it off here about uh, 20, 24 inches. And uh, what we're doing is we're using it to tie this uh, on this uh, T-post here. Real easy. This is not really an ex a real expensive uh, setup. It's just, it just takes some time. Get that all twisted, bend them down. We'll go through, we'll put on all the T-posts. We'll make sure that they're tied up good where the overlaps are good on the, uh, the uh, panels. And um, then we'll get everything set up, get this bait back baited up. And uh, then we'll uh, show you what it looks like once we're done. Folks, we finished the trap here. We had to go in... Uh, cool off we got hot today it is definitely a hot day to be doing this i can tell you that driving them t-posts was horrible but uh you can see here we got a figure c uh, i like to call it the figure six type trap uh, has the entrance door right here uh, hogs will push in and you got a post there uh, helping support that once it closes got this uh spot that they've been coming to uh, got it all baited up we've uh, attached our uh, fencing panels to T-post and also uh, wired up our ends of our panels so any overlap is uh, extra, extra um, 
strong. But uh, we'll see what happens. We're going to bait it up here. Or it's already baited, I should say. But we're going to open it up here, let the hogs come in and out here a day or so, get used to it. And then we'll see what we got. So we appreciate you watching. Hope this uh, type of uh, project uh, here helps you. Uh, if not very expensive, like I said, four hog panels, 15 uh, T posts, roughly around 150 bucks, depending on where you bought it, along with a roll of, of wire. So overall, a uh, good project, fun project, hot project, but we had fun doing it. So we appreciate you watching today. Please subscribe and check back. And if we catch something, we'll definitely. Uh, Catch you back here on Crappie Junkie Outdoors. Take care.